internet and YouTube. My name is Laura, but on the internet I'm known as Mars Peach. Um, I've been doing a text blog for a little bit over a year now where I mostly review books and s movies as well. Usually they're classic books and then period dramas, usually adaptations of those classics. I've been wanting to branch out a bit because I love to read all kinds of books. As you can see behind me, I have these two shelves here and then there's another one on the other side next to the camera that you can't see. So um, I've been kind of going back and forth about whether I wanted to do video reviews or not for a while. I had some failed attempts a couple months ago. I kind of gave up on it and now I decided I would try it again. So as just a little introduction to me, I thought I would do my favorite and least favorite books. This is actually, I kind of adapted a all-time favorite books tag that I've been seeing um, some people do on YouTube. And I've put in my least favorites as well because I love to talk about stuff I hate almost or even more than <laughs> stuff that I love. So to start with, I'm going to do my all-time favorite book that's really hard. I can't pick just one, but I'm really trying. I would go with Persuasion by Jane Austen. This was Jane Austen's last completed novel before she died, and it was actually published after her death, and I love all of Jane Austen's books, but this one, I think, speaks to me the most. Um, All-time favorite book cover. This is another really hard one to pick just one, but for as of right now at least, I'm going with Across the Universe by Beth Revis because I just finished reading this book last week, and this cover, well, I admit, I don't think it really fits the book quite so well because it makes you think it's more of just a romance than anything. Um, I, the cover is gorgeous. It's glossy. It's shiny. The picture is beautiful. And what I really love about it, let me just show you the inside. Um, it's reversible, which is really cool. And for the picture of the author, that's there's just a painting of some girl who I guess maybe is supposed to symbolize the main character in it. Um, if you take the dust jacket off, uh, first of all, let me show you. I don't know how well you can see, but right there, there's imprinted emblem. I guess that's the symbol of the ship, the spaceship in the book. That's what it looks like. It's really nice and kind of classic looking without the cover. But the inside of the dust jacket is reversible and looks like this. This is a blueprint upside down <laughs> of the spaceship in the book where the majority, besides the very beginning, the majority of the books take, takes place, and it's really cool. Um, I, the cover was what drew me to this book, and thankfully, even though I don't feel that the cover is quite exactly represents the book as well as it could, um, I get what they were going for, and it's still gorgeous. Um, next, I have my all-time favorite author. Well, I have a hard time picking just one of that two, but for right now I'm going to have to go back to the old standby, Jane Austen. All-time favorite book character. <laughs> I have so many of these I love. Um, I'm going to say Hermione Granger from Harry Potter because she's a nerd, and I'm a nerd, and I would love to be more like Hermione. I, I just, I love nerds in books because I feel like on one hand I can relate to them, on the other hand I aspire to be more like them because I want to be even nerdier. <laughs> uh, and I also love Hermione not only because she's a nerd, but because she's a very, she's quite emotional, um, which I can relate to because sometimes I can be like that. What girl is it? But she's really such a strong character, and she's such a great role model for um, young people, especially girls. So she's definitely a great 
someone that I would want if I had kids, especially a daughter, to be like her. I would love them to read the books and be like Hermione. Next, I have uh, all-time favorite series, Speed, which you can't exactly see. I'll do another video of a tour of all my bookshelves, but this whole shelf here, uh, double stack, this is just the front, is Harry Potter. That is definitely my favorite series. I have others that I like, but this one has been with me since I was 12 years old. Half my life, so Harry Potter was with me through middle school, high school, and at least the first half of college before the series ended. Well, and through college, because there's still another movie coming out in a couple months. No. Just over a month. Oh my god, time flies. Yes, but this if I had to pick one favorite of the series, just FYI, it is the last one, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. I love all of the books. Um, Prisoner of Azkaban is another one that is really high up there for me. But if I had to go with just one, I would say that one because it tied up all the loose ends. It had so many amazing, incredible moments. It, was, it, it made me laugh cry. It was so moving and so beautiful, even though I have some issues with the, the epilogue being a little bit too cheesy, even for me. Next, uh, name a book character I have a crush on. <laughs> I have uh, quite a few of these, actually, and I don't, I don't have the book down here right now. I don't feel like going up because it's on the top shelf up there. I'm going to say Henry Tilney from Northanger Abbey because he is hilarious and just a really flirty, funny guy, and I love him. Yes, so that's uh, Henry Tilney from Jane Austen's Northanger Abbey. Next, uh, a character, a book character I would want as a friend. Again, I'm going to have to go with Hermione for all the reasons that I said before. Uh, and, oh, this one, I kind of... Well, some of these I already, I don't know what came from the internet or what I made up anymore, but this one, my favorite book couple, I have to go with Ron and Hermione from the Harry Potter series. I remember actually when I first read the series uh, and I realized that they were going to have a thing going on, I was not too happy about that, and I, that was in when Goblet of Fire came out. I wanted Hermione to be with Crumb instead, because I thought Ron was a jerk. But he grew on me at, between uh, book four and five. There was three years in between, so that was a lot of time <laughs> to uh, get to like him. And by that time, I was really, I became as much of a shipper as someone like me could be, because I really don't care about shipping that much. I just kind of go with the canon stuff pretty boring in that way, and I just, I love their development and the books, especially in the last books, it was perfect, it wasn't overdone, because they were just a side couple, um, so I just loved it. That is all of my favorites so far, the big ones, obviously I have a lot more, I'm going to want to go into like the subgenre, because I've seen a YA subrec tag, which I thought was really cool and I want to do, but not just for YA, because even though I love YA, there's so many other types of books that I love too. Now I'm going to go into my least favorites. <laughs> Some of these, I, I do I own any of them? Mm, well, the covers, yeah, but my least favorite books, sorry, no. Anyway, we're going to go with my least favorite book of all time. Uh, there were, let me just get some runners up out of the way, there were some books that I really didn't care for that were required reading in high school that I, I can kind of see why they're classics and why they've endured and why people would like them, but one is The Grapes of Wrath by John Steinbeck, which I actually do still own. Um, I, I, I like the idea of the story, but the writing was just so hard to get through. Even my teacher, I could tell, really wasn't <laughs> into it. Uh, every other chapter, like there was one chapter about a turtle crossing the road and other crap. I, after the beginning, I really didn't care about reading it too closely anymore, so I don't really 
remember exactly. That was hard to slog through. There's also the Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne, which I used to have, but I think I might have given it away to Salvation Army because I can't find it anywhere in my house. It was, it was pretty, it, I, this idea of the story again, I kind of get what it was going for, but the book itself was just so, it's so hard to read. <sighs> but we are going to go right now with my number one least favorite book is Breaking Dawn by Stephanie Meyer. Um, I do not like the whole Twilight series. There, there are some aspects about it that I do like, I'm going to be honest, but overall I'm not a fan. Um, that book especially, it was just like, first of all, the, the gory beginning, um, then there was all the grossness of basically this pedophilia aspect, I don't want to spoil it too much, then all this build up to something that didn't happen, and then the cheesy over the top ending that I'm just like really come on plus Bella being like perfect as a vampire with no problems whatsoever good god and, and if you thought Bella Swan wasn't bad enough of a Mary Sue there's I'm sure everyone knows who it is but as, at least for right now the new character in that book <laughs> is even bigger a Mary Sue than Bella if you even believe that possible my least favorite book cover, well, at least of right now that I know it is, City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. Um, most of the covers, or all of them, have a similar kind of style where it, you don't really see the character's face. They're behind the city, and you see their body. You can kind of see the other ones on the back. But this one is just so horrible. He's gold. He looks really effeminate. It looks like it should be like some smutty gay romance novel, which I'm, I'm sure is fine for people who like that kind of thing. But just seeing this guy's like gold shimmery torso and long blonde curls would make me not want to read this book. I bought it, the series, as a box set where I didn't even really exactly see just this. But the books are good. They're better than Twilight. They're not any sort of literary masterpiece by any means, but they're entertaining. This cover, though, is just horrible. Lee's favorite author, well, <sighs> there are others I don't care for, I'm not going into them, but I have to say Stephanie Meyer. Be for writing Mary Sue's, not doing her research, having terrible main characters having terrible messages for girls it's basically like just rely on a guy who you barely even know just give up everything for him and you'll be okay you don't need to have your own life or goals or anything and least favorite character Bella Swan <laughs> Next least favorite series is the Twilight series by Stephanie Meyer. I'm running out of time here. Um, I did least favorite. Oh, least favorite couple is my last one. It's not going to be any surprise, but Bella Swan and Edward Cullen. Uh, okay, so that was my. Favorites and least favorites. Uh, I'm going to go, obviously, into more detailed ones in other videos, but as of right now, I'm out of time, and it is scorching hot. The AC is not working, and I can't run the fan while this is going. Is It's going to be sound horrible. So this was Mars Peach with my introductory favorites video. Thank you, everyone, for watching.